WLW. Ken Brew, as always, proud to be with you. So you're, you may be listening to me today as you're traveling somewhere afar for vacation. Maybe you're going to the beach. Maybe you're going to Cumberland, Lake Cumberland. Maybe you're going to the mountains. Maybe you're going anywhere to get out of the heat of uh, Cincinnati. But by and large, you're probably taking one of your portable devices with you. And by that, I mean your iPhone. Do people still have those those uh, Android phones, the ones that catch on fire? I guess they do. And uh, like an iPad, something like that. And you just can't live without it. You're addicted to it. It's almost like crack. It's almost like if you don't have it, you go into some sort of uh, withdrawal. And worse, maybe you're listening to me and you're... Not even going on vacation this year. What's wrong with you? Digital detox. We can't unwind by unplugging on vacation. It is a major thing that is uh, plaguing our society, but here to help, hopefully, is a business and life coach who understands what this may be all about. Her name is Psyche Terry. Psyche Terry, welcome to 700 WLW. Thank you so much for having me. Now, is your real, real name Psyche? My real name is Psyche, and it's Greek, and it means soul and life. So I'm hoping I'm bringing some soul and life to your listeners. Well, we need enlightenment up here. We need something to focus us. Now, let's talk about these iPhones and these iPads and these tablets. There's something inside those things, right? There's something mm-hmm. inside those things that uh, we're addicted to it. it. It may be a drug. It may be a Blu-ray. It may be some sort of <laughs> alien that is communicating with us through these things. But there's something <laughs> going on there, isn't there, Psyche? There is something going on. I'm not sure what it is, but you are so right to say it's like crack because I know I'm addicted to it, and I know I have friends and I'm anyone. I think there's about two-thirds of Americans that actually own a cell phone, and it's simply because it's entertaining. I mean, it solves our problems. It's there. It's like a good man or woman in our life that's just always there. You can put it in your pocket and do whatever you need it to do. It's so compliant. But, but, <laughs> but. It is ruining human interaction. Yeah. I see it people is. at work, and they, they're either going to the bathroom or they're going to get something yeah. to eat at the cafeteria, and they're walking yeah. down the hallway, and their nose is in a cell phone as opposed to talking yeah. and interacting with other people in the building. That can't be healthy, can it? No, it's absolutely not healthy at all. I mean, I, there's so many studies around the, the hurts and the the harmful things of having a cell phone, and definitely human interaction is one of them. We've got, I guess, another issue is, I mean, if you're you're thinking about how we sit and how we, we walk with our phone, our backs are hunched over, so mm-hmm. they it, it hurts our back. And so there's back problems associated with it, anxiety overall, it's don't have it around and you know if you've lost your phone god forbid you're going crazy trying to search for it the whole house goes crazy because you can't find it and or nerve damage just because of you know when we're looking at this screen on you know any screen if it's a phone or a tablet or a computer you get you're seriously damaging your nerves it's it's really a, an issue that we're not necessarily dealing with as a community of people because we are addicted to yes, it. Yes, we you, really are. You know, Psyche, I, I go to this little cafe near where I live, and I, I sit there, and I, I like to study people. I like to watch humanity go by. Yeah. It's it's kind of like my window on Main Street in Little Town, America. And I saw something mm-hmm. last year. I didn't know whether to yell, scream. Uh, I was I was paralyzed by it. Really, I sat there. It was somebody whose nose was in their cell phone, and they were walking mm-hmm. across the street, and they were walking straight into a car that was mm-hmm. idling mm-hmm. at a light. And I froze. I wanted to scream. And the, yeah. luckily, the driver saw this dude, and he just yeah. this guy just walked into the car. And I'm thinking, how many times has that happened in a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it, I mean, you're absolutely right. It's even driving, right? Of course, driving, walking. There's so many damaging effects of just being being involved with our phone. And I've, I've heard a statement once before to say, I, I had to, to, I had to have a divorce and I hate divorce, but I had to divorce my cell phone. And I think that's kind of the way we've got to look at this. If we've got to get intentional as just human beings, men and women, and, and now even our teens and our kids, we've yes. got to be intentional with taking steps 
towards not being so addicted to our phones and you got addiction rules, right? So, you know, you know, hi, my name is right. Psyche. I'm a business and life coach. I'm mm-hmm. addicted to my cell phone, yeah. right? So <laughs> like an AA meeting. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. Right. You got to kind of have these steps towards it, right? So right, right. I, I, I don't know. What do you think? What, what, what are you addicted to your phone as well? No, no. I, 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 you know, I, I, I'm an old man. I, I did just fine for the first 45 years, 50 years of my life without a cell phone. I was go okay. You know, now yeah, I, do I yeah. use it? Yes, because I have to use it for my job and just in case yeah. there's an emergency. But if they were mm-hmm. to wipe out this stuff right now, I'd be just fine. I don't need exactly. a phone when I'm driving. If I have a 15, 20 minute commute, I'm just fine. I can actually think and watch what I'm doing as opposed to being distracted by a phone. I think it's a major safety problem for us. But as yeah. a business and life coach, Psyche Terry, yep. do we yep. need do we need as people just to say, I am going to have quiet space. I am going to make my life better and richer by taking all of this electronics and putting it aside for a certain part of the day. Does that would that not help us? Yeah, let me tell you why specifically. You can make, in my opinion, you can make more money. You can be more self-conscious. You can be a better human being because you're more creative. So if you're more creative, you're, you're, you have a peace of mind, you're intentional about yourself, you have more self-esteem, that leads to making more money. That leads to more time mm-hmm. for creative ideas to flow through you, right? right? You can be a better parent because that leads more time with, with your kids or you can be a better spouse because that leaves more interaction with other people, in, including your coworkers or mm-hmm. your boss. You can just be a better human if you take a moment away from your phone. And it sounds so weird because it's like, well, if I, if I don't use my phone, this is America, right? If I don't use my phone, then I miss out. I miss out on in, in our house. Yes. On this weekend, we call it America. We're like, mm-hmm. what are, you're talking to America right now, but right here in front of you is just the four the four people that love you. So we say, well, what are you talking to America about? And, and here are the, the things that we do in our home so that we are not mm-hmm. always engaging America. Is yep. We make sure we have dinner time yep. without our phone. We yep. put our phone away. And, and when I say away, because here's, here's one of the stats, is if a phone is in the presence of anyone that can literally see it, if it's a kid or you or your spouse, if it's there, you don't have as meaningful of a conversation if it's hidden somewhere. And that's so crazy to me, but it's our psychological thought of like, it could go off any any moment now. America's looking for me. Any moment right now. Right. Uh, Psyche Terry uh, is a business and life coach. He's our guest here on News Radio 700 WLW. It dovetails into something else that I wanted to talk to you about. I saw this uh, and I was startled by it. 54% of Americans mm-hmm. that were surveyed, there were 7,000 employees surveyed last year. Yeah. 54% said they went through last year with unused vacation time because they mm. were, instead of their cell phone, they were addicted to work. And of those that did not use their vacation time, those who thought that they were going to get a promotion or something out of that, uh, those who did not take time off, almost 85% were less likely to receive a raise or a bonus. So, like our cell phones and our tablets, those of us that may be addicted to work really aren't getting ahead, are we? At the end of the day, you know, a wise person told me you have to care about yourself. Yes. That's the only self is, is taking care of you. So we've got a vacation. We've got to pull back. We've got to understand that recharging is what makes us more creative. And that's why I think it's 80%. You're, you're like 80% more likely right. <laughs> to be making money, right. you know, versus other people because they're the ones that are taking a break and, and, and taking vacations and being more creative and, and just having a better quality of life, which, which helps your stress, right. you know, right. decrease and, just helps you. You know, this is a startling stat. It may it may startle you, but for example, if I died tonight, this radio station wouldn't go off the air. They just slide Isn't somebody else, and it's the same. I work I work I work at a TV station. You know, I thought I got mad one day and I walked out on a uh, on a TV station because I didn't think they were doing me right. And yeah. you know what? They didn't go off the air. They just put somebody else in there. We all, are, you know, there was a famous football coach in this town. His name was Paul Brown. He said, we all are important, but none of us are necessary. And so if we come to that conclusion, then maybe we get to a point where we need, we find out we need to start taking better care of ourselves. And if we get to that point, then all of the stuff you and I have been talking about hopefully goes away. And then Psyche Terry can worry about other things in life, right? (laughs) 
No. But not like yet. <laughs> How do we find I you? Like if, <laughs> I know. How do we find you if we if, if we need to find you? What 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 is your website? Absolutely. Well, it's Psyche Terry, and let me spell that for you. It's T is in Paul, S Y C H E Terry dot com. And I just actually wrote a blog about digital detoxing as well as why we need to take our vacations. Good. Taking care of ourselves. Good. Where do we find the book? Do we find it on your website and Amazon and all those places? Yeah, it's just uh, on our website, okay. www psycheterry.com. And again, the name of the book is? So my, I'm working on a book now, and I've got some blogs out there now that Good. just specifically target these two issues so folks can Good. really be able Good. to dive in and, and read about them. Good. I'm glad we did this today. You're a lot of fun, and you got a lot of good things to say, and I want to do Thank this again. You. You'll come on with me yes. again, I hope. All Absolutely. Right. Have me back over and over again. All right, Psyche Terry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, kid. All Have right. a great afternoon. You too.